Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice stuff. Um, also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Today we're just going to talk about the animation component and how to make the priority uh, animation work. So the idea is going to be that, the, like I said before in the, uh, the other videos, uh, if we have a priority on a animation... It's going to play that animation until it's finished. Okay. And once that animation is finished, you can play another animation. So basically that's how it's going to work. And to start this off, I'm going to go into my animation class here uh, in animation component.h. And I'm going to add a few things. Now I do have a const bool uh, or a bool returning here, but I'm going to make my own little under timer here. Probably, yeah, I'm just going to make a boolean bool done. I'm just going to call it done. And then in the constructor, I'm going to set done to, where do I set done? Uh, I'm actually going to set timer to 0.f and then done to false. Pretty much. And with the height. So this is all going to be like core stuff. And remove done is zero there. Uh, once you do that, you have a internal boolean here that you can return. So I'm going to return a const bool reference instead because I'm going to return this one, uh, the member variable. Okay. I'm going to remove the, uh, the uh, default one here or the local one. I'm going to set this done to true here. I'm just going to return this done. Whenever it is uh, basically done, I'm going to set this done to false at the top because as soon as we start playing something, it's obviously not not done, right? Uh, and it's only going to be done when we reset it, when it's done its whole cycle. Um, and that's cool, so you do that. And then we're going to do the same thing here. This done equals false. This done equals true at in the reset else case here and then this um, done return so once we do that we and also const boolean reference here and then the mod percent all that shit is all good so now we can actually return this this boolean um, and if we go into animation component we'll see that when we play it, we will uh, priority animation is set to null. So let's see how what we're going to do. So when we're attacking, we want to make sure to see if this is done. If this is done, then we could put a if statement around this. And then, yeah, we could do that. Let me just let me just think a little bit here. So in animation here, what I'm gonna do? Hmm. Let's see. Product anim animation here. I could make this a boolean, uh, or I could just make a get done. Obviously, that sets it to done. So animation.h. Let's make a little accessor here. Because we might need it later. Const bool reference get or is done. Const. And this is just going to return this done. So it's going to just say that if it's done, then it's done, right? Obviously. And that will let us... Yeah, that will actually be fine. So how does our animation component look? Add animation accessors. And we're probably going to need a accessor here to, to uh, if we close the animation class, we go down here to the animation component. We're probably going to need an accessor to get access. 
access or to get one animations done status. Okay, so const bool reference is done. We're going to have a is done function here as well. Const. Okay. And I'm just going to say const std string key. Basically to check if one of these is done. If an animation is done, basically. We're just going to check for that. Uh, and then we're just going to go in here and define this accessor. Return this um, animations at key. This animations at key dot um, what? Uh, okay, so basically it was the const here because yeah, we're getting a pointer back that isn't const, so it's kind of weird. Um, so basically we don't need the if statement, we can just do this. So that took a little too much time. Um, it was dumb. But anyway, so what you can do is just return if this animation at position key is done. Okay, now if it is done, it's going to send it back and we can use it. And then we can use it. Uh, so 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 and we can also make this a boolean if we would like that's also a a way to do it but what we want to do here if attacking if this animation component up or arrow basically animation component is done attack then we're going to say this attacking equals false. All right. So basically that's what's going to happen. So I hope you follow through on all the steps uh, in this video. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you did. And hopefully this will work now. I did actually. Oh, man. God damn it. Okay, this isn't going to work. Because I forgot to uncomment this crap. There we go. So now I can uh, I can actually attack. And if I'm attacking, I'll play the attacking animation. Yep. So it's playing the attacking animation and I can still move while I'm doing it. See, so I can't I can I can actually hold it and it will keep attacking. So it's kind of flipping out obviously because uh, I couldn't make it so that it you can't move while you're attacking. And that could be something. And we have to kind of move the... When we attack, we have to move the character in to the uh, the box. Yeah, so that's what we're going to have to do. So pretty much that's done. Now we have our... Now we have our priority animations pretty much done. Uh, another way we could do it, because we have a little time left is we could actually just set these to const boolean reference here as well and just set that to both of these play functions in animation component because we're going to return the boolean so what we could do is we could just take this key here and the other thing we did is also valuable I mean it's still good for us because we can uh, uh, is done because we can uh, use it later for different things so it's it's pretty good to have the more functionality we have the better it's going to be for us pretty much and just at the very bottom here before the bottom bracket just return this animations is done okay in both of these play functions and then what we can do is instead of doing this we can just make an if statement around the whole thing here and then we can just say this attacking is false right down there so we'll tell us when this animation is done basically see so that's pretty much how that's gonna work and if I run this again it shouldn't crash or anything it should be fine pretty much fine a new game yeah it's still working so it's working and we're good all right so to to actually get the 
player into the box, you got to think that uh, if we open it up here, probably going to have to do this in the other video, in the next one. But if you just think about it, let's look at the image itself uh, right here. So we have two boxes here. So two of these is one of these. So all I can do is I can actually, this is in between these two. I can move it half of the size to the left or to the right, depending on where I am, which way I'm facing, and we'll be in the box again. Okay, so we can pretty much just move it or set the origin a little more to the to the left or to the right and we'll be in the box. So that is uh, probably what we're going to have to do. That is probably what we're going to have to do uh, every time we attack. All right. So that's going to be a, uh, a little uh, a little issue there. Um, so I'm just going to disable that for now. But we're going to have to play around with that a little bit. Try to test it out and make a few if statements to see which way we're facing, what the hell's going on. We're probably going to make a boolean in player to see which way we're facing to make it a life a little easier for us. Uh, but there you go, guys and girls. That's pretty much it. We got this priority thing working. Uh, here are all the details about it. Um, basically, we just made a bunch of booleans. And these booleans are helping us to uh, to see when the animation is finished. So that's, that's the gist of it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. I hope it, it was fun. I hope it's fun watching these series uh, or these videos and following along. And if you have any questions, like I said, go into Discord. You can ask us there. The, the, the link is in the description and all that stuff. Please check that out. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, like I said. Thank you so much. Take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.